This video was brought to you by the EA Creator Network. Hey y'all, it is Luca. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today I wanted to do a bit of a little renovation. I love doing renovations in The Sims. It's one of my favorite things to do when it comes to building. I love renovations. It's so fun to turn something ugly and make it pretty. Uh, so today I am going to be doing a renovation of this little house here, Streamlit Single here in Willow Creek. And uh, instead of just doing a renovation where I buy things or if I use a budget or whatever um, that's like specific to the lot price and all that nonsense. Um, I'm actually going to do something that just Nora Gaming here on YouTube did that I noticed. Uh, something very fun. Uh, she actually renovated the house in Glimmerbrook, that one starter home that we all hate. Um, and she used a random number generator on Google to create her budget. I thought that was really fun because uh, that is going to make it a lot more interesting. I'm not going to count the price of the lot itself. I'm just going to give that amount of money to my sim, and then we're going to use that to transform the house. Kind of like a realistic renovation. But before we get into this video, I want to just really quickly mention that uh, if you are looking to purchase any packs on, you know, EA to, you know, increase the, uh, the value of your Sims 4 game, uh, please be sure to uh, consider using Using my creator code Luca Owens that is L-U-C-C-A-O-W-E-N-S at checkout and I actually earn a small little commission from that sale if you are you know wanting to support the channel in a different way um, it doesn't you know it's not really like a coupon or a promo code or anything but it just it just supports me which I can you know say is very valuable I don't know how to word it today but yeah um, also big thanks to EA for supporting the channel as they always do with the creator code and me being a Sims creator and also, uh, you know, them giving me recent packs, which we may use today. I'm not sure, uh, but there's a couple new kits, the artist studio kit, and then the storebook nursery kit. Well, maybe we'll try to use those today. Who knows? But before we get into that, um, let's pick out our numbers. So I've got Google right here. And so I'm going to say say 50,000 because 50,000 is like, um, 50,000 is like, you know, uh, mother load. So that makes sense. And I think I'll make the minimum 10,000, um, you know, just because I feel like 10,000 is at least something that I can, like, I can use that at least. So let's hit generate. Okay, that's a higher number than I was expecting. So 44204. Um, so let's go ahead and jump on into the house. All right, so we're in the house. I chose to make it unfurnished just to make my life like a minuscule amount easier uh, in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the little command, little console money, and we're going to set our money to 44204 simoleons. And that's going to be the amount of money that we use to renovate this house. Um, we may get some of the money back, but I'm going to actually try, I'm going to actually try to use what we have here. Um, it's going to be a little gloomy today by the looks of it. We're in an autumn. So, uh, I am going to first and foremost, uh, get rid of the terrain paint, uh, just cause yeah. Um, I think first things first really is I want to move this store over because why Sims, why EA, whoever built this, what is this about? Um, and then of course we have this issue right here where the wall is here. I think honestly what I'll do is we're going to redo this floor plan completely. I said it was a realistic renovation only to a degree. Um, I will keep these doors though. We'll, we'll conserve as much money as we can. That's what we'll do. We'll try to conserve as much money as we can by reusing all of the stuff that we already have, like the windows and stuff. I'm not going to lower the wall height. That's, that's what I instinctually would want to do. But I think let's go ahead and let's just rip up all the floors. Why not? That's what we would do, right? If this was a real life renovation, we'd rip up all the floors and leave the subfloor. And then we'll just do all of this. Now, 
realistically, we wouldn't be getting money back for this stuff, but so what? <laughs> um, but let's do a quick like floor plan. So I would rather, because the living space was back here and the bedroom is here. I don't love that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is have this little nook be the living space. And then maybe like, I think maybe right here can be the kitchen like this little spot here okay i kind of have an idea so i kind of like the idea of just being there being like a big not a big living room but this just being like the living room and then there's gonna be like a little hallway right here and then we have um i think maybe we'll have a kitchen in here just like a small no nonsense kitchen um, there's not gonna be a dining room in this house um i do need to implement implement i need to put in a bathroom so i think what it'll do is this can be a bathroom this can be a bedroom this can be a bedroom this can be the kitchen hallway and living room it's realistic it's simple um i'm gonna reuse these windows but i am not gonna reuse the wallpaper i don't love this wallpaper i see what they were going with um let's just keep it pretty simple like um i kind of want to like you know if you if you look at the neighborhood uh, which by the way i am in my own little personal save file that i've been playing in so that's why you see my sim self my sim self is the renovator but i'm gonna go ahead and add in some lights these are not staying i never leave these lights in my build i don't like them I just like them for what I'm initially building. But first things first, I always do this with this house. I fix the roofing because it's just so not the vibe for me. I need it to be down a notch so that it looks a bit more like, you know, it has eaves. And then if I was living here, I would want like a nice, like dark roof. We can even use what was already there and just make it the darker swatch like we've updated. That's so nice. And then I really do like these shutters, not shutters. What are they called? Shingles. They're called shingles. Um, do we want to do something fun? I like the gray an awful lot. I'm not a big fan of gray houses, but it, they can look cute if you try. <laughs> I am going to get rid of one of these windows because it just seems a little weird. Um, I think we're going to go with... I like the red. The red and the gray kind of looks cute. I'm not mad about that. Um, it's a different vibe than I'm used to, to be honest. Maybe I'll put in some red columns. We'll paint the columns. Yeah, that's real realistic, right? I'm trying to do a realistic renovation with this, so uh, we can paint the columns instead of getting new ones. We'll do that with the this as well. But yeah, we're going to paint all of this to match. These windows, though, babes, I don't know. Let's just reposition all of these windows really quick to where they're at least all in the same level. And then let's grab these doors. Uh, we'll use this archway again here. And then we'll use these doors here. We'll just, you know, place them when, wherever we need to place them. Okay, it's not optimal. I don't love putting doors like this, but it does the job. I like this. This looks pretty cute. Let's get rid of all this landscaping, though. Um because we don't use, we don't use bot landscaping. That's so silly. Um, oh, and we almost forgot the foundation. We could do black. Does that look fun? I kind of don't hate that. I like the black a little bit nicer. Oh yeah, it accents the, the roofing. This looks really cute so far. Okay, Streamlit Single, you're kind of coming through. We could do black on black. That would be nice, right? We could paint that. Ooh, uh, you know, we're going to go with a little bit more of like a fall vibe today, I think. So I'm keeping the landscaping pretty simple today. We are just going to put in a couple bushes like so. Oh, these are cute. These look kind of fun right now. We'll just put a couple of these around. Yeah, I like that boulder. That's a nice boulder. Um, I guess I'll use... Oh, I love these trees. I always love using this tree. It doesn't really fit fit color wise though it's kind of yellowy i kind of want something fun something i want like a reddish to oh that's big but that's too big oh this is perfect it's got like a nice like reddish hue and it accents it very nicely i'm not going to do samesies with the trees either i'm going to do different types of trees oh this one's from outdoor tree but it's cute we'll put it right there oh Ooh, I like it like and then we just need to finish the landscaping. I'll just put some of these. These are always really nice for covering the space 
for landscaping. Uh, it helps kind of fill it in a little bit so it doesn't look so empty. It fills on all these like random little gaps. And then I think I'm just gonna put a couple of like these also, just to kind of like add in something, some verticalness. I feel like that's really all I wanna do. I think that looks really cute. I really recommend finding like a good grass, like this one, this one looks really good. And just kind of plorping it in random spots. That just helps it kind of give it a little bit of life, I think. Makes it a bit more realistic. And then let's see here. I'm going to put some lights in. Um, I'm thinking these are going to look cute. The black is, you know, very nice. It just kind of accents the black. Okay, we made the tree a little smaller so we could actually see. All right, so for the flooring, I want to go with something kind of simple. We'll go we'll go pretty cheap, I think, too. Um, I, can't, I never use this, like, reddish tone, and it's kind of pretty. I think I might use that. I like this reddish wood tone. It's it's actually really nice. I've never used that. Um, and then we need, like, a nice tiling for the kitchen. Like, this old, like, gross-looking laminate, but I'm not a big fan. I like that a little bit nicer. Let's go ahead and just get the floor plan like overall like get everything placed down Ooh, and we also have this couch now um, with new swatches which is so so nice i think i'm gonna go with a nice gray that's kind of nice and then we can just do a couple of those couch or couches a couple of those chairs to kind of accent it maybe since we don't have a love seat that matches or maybe i can put it like this you know kind of have some uh angle variety yeah kind of makes it a little bit more convivial but yeah so that's the general layout of the living room you can kind of see where the tv and like stuff's gonna go we can put some like you know like general like entrance stuff over here like a little table and like some coat like a coat rack or whatever kitchen is pretty important so we probably should do that next um i always use this fridge and, and like 90% of my builds so I should probably use something different actually let's do we could do a red fridge why not these people like the color red we'll say that and then we'll just use the parenthood kitchen pieces <laughs> whatever you want to call it um I kind of don't love the way that looks with the refrigerator though and I really do want to use the fridge I, I didn't want to use the gray but I think there's just a there's a running theme of red and gray in this house um so I don't want to overdo that we could just go with the, the classic, the white, which actually always looks really nice. Um, to be honest, I'm more of a fan of having the kitchen have a window above where the sink is. And then I think we'll just replace these windows here. We'll just put a couple like this so that we can have like a proper sink here. Thankfully, this kitchen set comes with one that uh, blends it in. And then we'll actually do this with the kitchen um it's a little bit awkward having the stove right here um but we can do a red stove that's kind of fun that's different and then maybe we'll just put some cabinets um let's see like so yeah i like that that's cute this took so much of our money but it's so worth it i promise We'll put the entrance like here maybe because we do need some kind of like table to sit at. I don't know if we can put one in here to be perfectly honest. Um, but I mean, we also could just tear this wall down completely and then just have this be like all open here. I don't hate that idea. TBH. Oh, I can see it. I can see it. Um, we can have like a table like somewhere. We could do just a small table. I'm not entirely sure what kind of table I want to use because <laughs> I don't know. Just none of them are really like speaking to me. Um, we could try to use just like a simple one. Well, let's just place a simple one for now. We're just getting the floor plan done. We could also just do an island kind of counter thingy. Granted, I don't know if this is going to look good. I don't hate that. That looks nice. We could also put the refrigerator here, but um, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. And I can see this just being a house for like three people, like parents and their one child maybe, um, or soon to be child, who knows. Um, so I'm just going to put a couple bar stools in here. That looks nice. I like the kitchen. I'm not sure if I like the flooring TBH, but you know, it's it, maybe they renovated it recently, but they only had so much money for the kitchen. We got the basics of the kitchen layout. And then this is the parents bedroom or the main bedroom. Who knows? This could be a in, honestly anything you want um but i'm just gonna put in some kind of bed i don't want it to be too expensive but it doesn't have to be super cheap either 
I'm thinking this bed, maybe? I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that bed, to be honest. Um, we can also use this one. It's got the red in it, but it's a little bit more traditional. I don't hate it, though, the more I look at it. It kind of fits the vibe. Um, let's just get some, I think these side tables will be the best, but we could probably change them later on. And then they'll need a dresser probably like right here. Yeah, we'll just do the one that matches. I, I like it, it's nice. We'll just do this toilet. That's ugly. Um, let's do this toilet instead. And then we need a sink. Kind of like this little pedestal sink, it's cute. Um, I don't know actually if I want it to be that way. Maybe I want it to be like this instead. We'll put the toilet kind of close to the sink. That's a little too close. Um, and here we're gonna put a unit, I think. This is just way more realistic. I see, you see this way more often in like actual homes. You don't see like shower stalls. Like that's not, that's, at least for me, that's not that super common. It's very white, um, but we'll add more decor to it. I think that's a fully functional little bathroom. I kind of want to use the Storybrook nursery kit. Um, I haven't gotten the chance to use that too, too much recently. Oh, the green's cute, but yeah, we'll go with green. That's a, that's a lovely green actually. Or do we want to go red? I don't know. Maybe these people are a little bit more goth. Maybe they're a bit more Victorian, you know, vibes. I don't know. Maybe we should go with that vibe. Ooh, I like that bed for this house, actually. I don't know if I actually like that. <laughs> um, I do want to use the Storybook Nursery stuff, but at the same time, um, I, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I won't use the bed necessarily because it's not really the vibe that I'm going for, um, but everything else is super cute. Like, I really like this little box here. Oh, that's cute. That's a little little toy box, right? Yeah, it's a toy box. We'll at least use a couple of the things because I can see a couple of the things being quite nice in here. Um, yeah, I think that's the vibe is that this is like their uh, very goth uh, and like this is their idea of decorating for their child. Maybe we will do that for the rest of the house. Um, the kitchen may need a little bit of a makeover. <laughs> you know, but I like it. Okay. This is fun. But yeah, I can see that this family is a bit more goth. So, um, you know what? Give me like a few minutes, a few seconds. And I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna revamp this kitchen. It's gonna be the same layout. It's just gonna be completely different. So hold on. Okay. So it took me a second, but what are we thinking? I it definitely cost it a little bit more money. Um, we're definitely going to have to redo some things in the house, but we figured it out. Um, we figured out the vibes. It only took me the majority of the video. Um, actually, I'm going to keep this bed. I like this bed a lot. Um, it's just the nightstands I don't love. I like that. I like this a lot. So we're doing a spooky, kooky, ooky renovation um which i it's it's spooky season and i haven't really fully embraced it yet <laughs> i feel like so this is definitely helping yeah i like this a lot it's looking cute so yeah uh the people that live here are goths oh what if maybe these are like the goth house like the goth household maybe i should make them some extended family and like they have some cousins living here the only bed that I really do like is this one. Um, it's just the nightstands aren't really matching it. Oh dear. It's going to take me a minute to find the ones that I want to use. Actually scratch that. I think I found some that I do like. I feel like, I mean, I know that this is the swatch that's supposed to match it, but I feel like the black one is actually quite nice. I think we'll just go with that and leave it at that. And then that means that I got to make the living room a little bit more goth. Like we can't just, we can't, we can't, we can't just leave it there. We could do this to match it, but I'm not a big fan 
of that it just doesn't look like a realistic like family couch this one kind of does though we could do red but i kind of just like the black and then we need a big rug too in here um just something like oh like this would be fun we could use the one from crystal creations i am a big fan and there is a red swatch i don't have the tool mod installed unfortunately so i can't resize it the way i want to but i'm not gonna worry too much about it it looks kind of cute and then we'll use we we'll use this coffee table question mark no this one from love struck is actually quite cute it kind of fits the the vibe i'm going for yeah we'll just leave it at that and putting a tv in front of a window is weird but we're we're just gonna go with the flow with this one. I think we have to put it a little bit lower. Yeah. Yeah, let's find something a little bit more goth. I just turned on the black like color filter so that I can see all of the, you know, the darker swatches. And I don't know which one I want to use. There is this one. This one kind of looks cute. Uh, I kind of don't mind that. Should we do just the classic big screen TV. I mean, you kind of have to at this point. Like, and I think we're just going to use uh, like a mixture of curtains. I really love these curtains from the Paranormal Stuff Pack. I think these would actually look so freaking cool in this house. However, that looks a little awkward. Like they look a little bit too spaced out. I think we're going to like make them a little bit smaller. I don't know. I just don't love these windows, but we're just going to go with it. And the good thing is we've got some curtain rods to kind of cover up this weirdness that's going on right now. But this is going to eat up some of our budgets. Oh, sweetie. We got 18,000, <laughs> which we do have the house pretty much furnished it just needs some final touches it needs decoration we need wallpaper though that's really important right we don't want to just have blank wallpaper um i love this from the crystal creations like stuff pack really good stuff pack by the way if you're really looking for something that's different it adds in a lot to some, like actually like gameplay wise and also just creatively the, the the stuff it comes with is really pretty this is really speaking to me but it's just a little too um red i don't know i'm not a big fan it makes me want to change the curtains up honestly because the black curtains oh no we're getting into that uh the territory i don't know if y'all know what it is but it's a decision uh what is it called decision fatigue no that's not the word um decision paralysis yeah i didn't know there was a green let's look at these curtains we need some red curtains Ooh, wait a minute though these are kind of fun the sheer ones from the discovery university pack is there isn't there like a shorter version of these? Yeah, these are really pretty. I feel like these would work so well for this house. And the gold, it, it the only downside is it blends in too well with the wallpaper. So I think I'm gonna go with a different wallpaper. And you know what? I don't want it to be super busy either. Um, I don't want it to be super bright. Eh, I'm not a fan of that at all. <laughs> In any capacity, I'm not a fan. I don't really dislike this, actually. I think the dark gray... It's kind of fun. What is going on with the lighting in here? But I, yeah, I like the gray. I think that looks kind of good. It fits the vibe for the whole house. Um, do I want it to be all gray in here? I don't think so. I don't like a gray kitchen. I think that looks so mid. So maybe we can just go with something like this. Ooh, she's kind of cute though. I like it. It adds some fun, some color. And then of course the kids bedroom we're going to use the new wallpaper. It's 14 simoleons. Wow. You know, I don't really like it that much for this because it's not very goth. It's cute, but it's not really the vibe I'm going for. I will use this wallpaper for the bedroom though, because that is very fun. It's very red, but I don't know about this wallpaper, y'all. I always forget about the vampire wallpapers. It doesn't fit the flooring though. The flooring kind of stands out weird. So yeah, maybe for the kid's bedroom, we'll keep it pretty simple. Um, we'll do maybe just like a, uh, like a simple gray. Oh, I like that. Mm. I don't really hate this, to be perfectly honest mainly because it, it it's giving like you know kind of normal people living here but they kind of have like a little bit of a goth vibe you know what i mean it kind of works i don't really hate it it's kind of modernized goth oh i like this lamp i feel like this is a very nice lamp for this house it kind of is perfect. Okay, so we have the basis of the house done. We just need to kind of finish up the decoration. 
cushion. I think I would like to put some curtain rods for these because it looks a little weird with the gold. It's very bright. I feel like that'll at least help it blend in a bit better. These are kind of fun. These are from Get Together. Um, I like that they have little drawers in them so you can just fill them full of junk. And let's see, I know exactly which lamps I want to use. They're the lamps from, I think, For Rent. Yeah. I don't know. Those are cute. They they kind of give old school vibes, but they're they're nice. They're they're simple. We're gonna throw in some like pillows. If you lift up these pillows uh, four times with the nine key, it actually is the perfect height for all of these couches. I really like this. This is very cute. I kind of want to do the gray with the black. Wow, th that changes literally everything in this house. I swear these these pillows were. I'm gonna tell you the best thing that they have ever added to The Sims 4. <laughs> I know that's a wild statement to make, but hear me out. These are so nice and they literally transform all these couches. Like, look at that. Oh my goodness. And I think that since this is like a place for kids or a kid lives here, um, I'm gonna just throw in a few toys, you know, just to make it a little messy. Ooh, we can put the high chair in here. Um, we'll do like a horse. Ooh, we'll do like this little carriage. It's cute. Oh, there's a set of antique blocks. Those are adorable. I didn't know we had those. And I just need a nice high chair. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot. So I'm just going to go with this black one here. Yeah, they, they'll eat in here in the living room. Um, maybe the parents eat in here a lot, you know. And then over here, we'll just do some little curtain thingies. What are you, not curtain thingies, coat racks. Yeah, we'll just do a little coat rack here. And then maybe we'll do just like a, maybe we'll actually put this over here with the TV on it. Yeah, that, that looks better. This will be here. And this can just have like little catch-all like knickknacks and stuff. We'll put a little box. We'll put some shoes. Yeah, we'll just do like a variety of shoes here. And then we'll just do a little rug. Ooh, I kind of want to use the more, uh, this is totally <laughs> random, but the vampire game pack, like rug here, that's kind of cute. I don't know if I like that actually. <laughs> the black is better, yeah. Um, that fits so much nicer, but we'll just use the same one, I think, in here. I kind of like that. It's kind of fun. Now, the thing is, y'all, I am definitely focusing on the front of the house a bit more because this is the living room. This is where they live. Um, the bedrooms are probably not going to be super decorated. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, I do like this painting, but that's kind of, that's a little too magic-y looking. Now that one I do like. Actually, I think we'll use this, this thing here from the paranormal stuff. I actually really like that. That fills in the space really, really well without having to go through too much effort. And we really just need like a couple plants in here. And I feel like that'd be, that'd be good. Ooh, we'll just put one of these like little flowers right there. That's cute. See? And then I'm just going to put in one of these plants. You can never go wrong with that. I love that plant. Um, I think the living room is done. The kitchen does need some help. It does need a lot of love. Oh, before I forget, let's fix the lights in here. Honestly, I recommend um, if you have the tool mod, this you can do it in build mode. But if you don't, we can just jump into live mode. Basically, I always turn the head, like the, the ceiling lights off or I just delete them altogether. I will adjust the lighting completely. I kind of like these fall ones from Seasons. It seems kind of fun. The kitchen, however, I do like it being nice and bright because it's good to have lots of light in here. I think we'll add this here, but I also want to put in like a little towel. I saw these too. I really like that. I'm going to put that in the corner. We need some paper towels, of course. We always need paper towels. Um, however, I recommend using microfiber cloths if you can, because um, they are reusable and washable. Put some pots up there. We could do this little, oh, this little, little cornucopia. It's like just a little decor for the kitchen and a little mortar and pestle. Why not? Yeah, just some little decorations here and there. I feel like that's a, that helps the kitchen a lot. It's still too bright for me, to be perfectly honest. I don't love all the light. Um, I feel like there needs to be a window here, though. I feel like it's kind of weird not having a window there. I don't know if I like that, to be honest. Um, maybe I'll just reuse like these. It's kind of out of place. I'm not going to lie. Um, maybe we need something like this rug. 
to kind of, yeah, we need something to kind of, you know, kind of tie it all in. I think we need to change this tiling in here. I'm not a big fan of it, like, at all. Like, it just seems so mm, not, not, the, it's just not the vibe. Okay, but, like, hear me out. This wallpaper from Love Struck, so much prettier, especially for the living room. The kitchen, not so much. Um, I don't know what to do for the kitchen still. I mean, I could also use this cottage living one, maybe. You know, I never did consider this one from the Realm of Magic. I really do like that. The pink is a little bit too much for me, but I don't know if I like the other color swatches. It's kind of bright, but we can put it in the bathroom too. That's kind of cute. I'm actually a big fan. It fits the vibes with the colors. Like it's kind of that reddish hue. Oh y'all, this is my problem. Is that like, I have to see all the possibilities before I make a decision. And even then I have a hard time with it. So you got to bear with me. It's that Libra rising energy for me. Maybe I'll literally will just use this curtain. It is also these curtains as well, which actually are kind of a vibe, but y'all I'm struggling over picking a daggone curtain for this corner. Like, I think I'm just going to leave those. <laughs> just go with it. Okay, so we have 12,000 simoleons left. Um, I'm going to go through and just add some more decor. We we do need to add some stuff to the bathroom. Oh, I want to use this mirror, but it's too big. Um, this mirror, though, is kind of cute. Yeah, we'll do that. That looks really cute, actually. And it's still kind of, it's, it's kind of modern still. And then we'll put the hand soap on this side and the toothbrushes on this side. Not the side where the toilet is. That's gross. Put in the medicine cabinet. We'll put in a little rug rooney, you know, a little, well, actually, you know what? We'll put in these rugs. That just seems realistic. I don't have a rug in front of my toilet like this because I feel like that's kind of gross to me. And then we'll put a couple of robes in here and then we just need a oh we need a hand towel too and then oh i kind of want to do these like messy towels like we'll put it put that there and then yeah we have we have twelve thousand volumes i'm probably not going to use all of it let's be honest um but we do need to decorate the rest of the rooms but yeah while i do a bit of decorating um i just want to check in with y'all <laughs> how y'all doing it's, it's been a minute it's been a long time since I have been on the channel and actually talked with y'all. But yeah, how y'all been doing? Are y'all excited for the Life and Death expansion pack? Because I am so excited for it. Let me tell you what it is. It is. It's going to be everything to me. I'm so pumped. Do we want to change the flooring? No. I like the other one better. I've been, I'm really excited for it. It's going to be an experience. This is probably going to be one of the better expansion packs that we've had in a long time. I'm not saying that the expansion packs haven't been good, but I'm just, I'm going to be honest. I haven't really felt the desire to play as much, but seeing the life and death expansion pack, like teasers and stuff, I'm just like, Ooh, um, I'm ready. I'm so ready. Let me know your excitement in the comments. Uh, I'm really intrigued on what the building stuff is going to be. Cause I did see some of it because you can like, pause the videos and kind of look and see on like uh, Twitter and stuff. Uh, some of the stuff is pretty, it's, it's obviously going to be like a vibe, like gothic kind of ish looking. I think it's going to look cute though. I think it's going to be great. Um, I think I'm just going to put some random bits and bobs in here. I don't know. I never know what kind of wall art to put. I kind of want to keep it simple and just not put a lot at all. Actually, I will put this one. This one's kind of fun. The little rose paintings. Um, and then we'll put... Oh, we need a mirror in here. Of course we need a mirror. We'll use this get together one maybe or the vampire one. That one's much more of the vibe. We need an armoire. We need something grand. Do I want to change it up a little bit now that I'm putting that in here? Kind of. I could go with just like a gray. I think I'm just going to stick with it. I'm just going to go with that um, because otherwise I want to be here all day making decisions. I think that is cute and simple. Um, I, I do want to put in some better lighting. Weirdly enough, the most used lights that I use are the, it's the boob light, but I'm just going to go with this one because it's a little different. We'll do it in all of the, the rooms too, like that. That's cute. I kind of want to use that in here too. I don't really love that one from Seasons. It's kind of weird to me. I'm going to put a little ottoman in here, something probably kind of simple, hopefully, if we have anything. Maybe we'll just put this one. Yeah. Um, all right. So it looks like all the rooms are well furnished. They're not overly furnished, um, but well furnished. 
nonetheless i think i like this we, we are left with nine thousand simoleons there's really nothing else i need to buy for this house so i'm just going to get some stuff for the outdoor little porch area i'm glad we had some money left over you know how much i would adore to have a porch swing in this game oh my goodness a porch swing would be so cute um i would lose my mind it would be adorable um i guess we're just gonna use <laughs> I don't know what to use for out here. This is kind of fun, but it's a little too modern. Maybe we can use this. Maybe we can do like a bench like this from the, I think this is from Love Struck. Yeah. And then we can throw some pillows on it. I like that idea. That's gonna, that's, that's what I want to do. Cute. I like it. Um, we need some plants out here too. You know, this is kind of fun. I like the red on it. Um, and then we got to have one of these. I kind of love putting those in all of my builds. And we need some more like small ones, like potted plants. Ooh, this is kind of cute. That's, I mean, that's always cute. I always use that. I do want to put a rug over here because I feel like it would just be nice to have a rug like outside. I'm just going to choose to not put a rug because I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm going to put a little plant pot here, I think. And we do need some lighting out here too. I'm just going to go with like this one. I like this one a lot. Um, I Do I want to do a ceiling light? I don't think so, but we can, maybe we can. Oh yeah, I like this one. This one's kind of fun. I do want a ceiling fan out here because I feel like that's just realistic. Maybe this like kind of worn down industrial one. Or maybe this one from Love Struck, or maybe the one from the base game, because you kind of can't go, kind of can't go wrong with it. All right, I think we're done. We have seven thousand simoleons. Did we use the entire budget? No, but we came in under budget. So then maybe that's the that's the, the the real challenge is coming in under budget. All right, so here we are. Um, here is the house. She is finished. She is cute. Here's the front porch. You know, looking real cute. Um, why don't we really quickly while we have my sim, let's go player test this house. Why don't you take a shower? We'll see. Oh no, it doesn't look like he can. That's unfortunate. It could also be the robe. Let's try again. Oh no, it looks like we can't get to it because of the toilet. Let's try to kind of scooch this down. Maybe then we'll be able to. Okay, it looks like that worked. Cute, it almost looks like he fits here because of his red. Um, but ooh, I love it. But yeah, let's see if he can. Oh, they get on this side? Oh, I don't love that but it works. So, um, yeah, that's the house. Um, I'll go ahead and go into a nice cinematic mode. This is the living room. And then we're just going to look into the kitchen. The kitchen's cute. I like it. It's a little dark in here, isn't it? I'm not really a big fan of how dark it is, but it's nighttime. Oh, and he's just snoozing away in the bedroom here. And then this is the little toddler room, kind of nursery. I think it's super cute. Yeah, do let me know if y'all want to see some more builds like this. Oh, and look at that. I think this is kind of the perfect time to end this build because it's daytime and it's autumn and the trees, the red, it's a vibe. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Uh, really quick as just a little, little eensy weensy reminder. Uh, thank you to EA for supporting the channel and uh, also uh, giving me a creator code and all that good stuff. If you want to use that creator code, check out just, uh, you, it's Luca Owens, L-U-C-C-A-O-W-E-N-S. Um, it really does support the channel. Uh, I love you all. Take care of yourselves. And yeah, this will be available on the gallery. I'm going to upload it right now. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Stay weird and I'll speak to y'all next time. Bye y'all.